Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Omar from Nearman Condition, and today I am so freaking excited because the Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck Don Rosa Library Collection Volume 7 and 8 box set has finally come out. So today, I'm going to do a short overview of the series as a whole and do an unboxing of this wonderful, wonderful set that I've been waiting a year to read. So, join me. So, first things first, let's get this sucker open. Trust the X-Acto knife. Always cut away. All right, double wrap for that double protection. Yeah, yeah, I know what I said. Get that knife away from that book. Okay, now that we've got it out, let's take a look at the box itself. It's got artwork from both volume seven and then volume eight, the front cover. Much like the previous volumes. Now this is the first time ever that the Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck collection from Don Rosa is going to be available in English for the entire set in a collected edition format. So previously they've been released in trade paperbacks, uh, but not all the stories. That's what they look like outside of the box. And like Don Rosa's Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck is so popular in Europe and other countries. And for some reason, it's just never taken off in America. And I'm not sure why they, people don't get into the Duck comic books here. Maybe they still think of them as kid comics. Maybe they relate to them to the cartoons like DuckTales or Donald Duck. But there's so much more than that. And if you've never read these, you're really missing out on some of the best comic books. Not just Duck comic books or Disney comic books. Some of the best comic books ever. And let's look at the book itself. There's no dust jacket. There's a back cover. And the spine of the book. These are really nice. The binding is really nice on them too. That's new on the cover. 70th anniversary. Good gosh, 70 years. In comparison to previous releases, here is The Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck. So you can see right off the bat how much bigger the art is in the new Fantagraphics hardcover. Now, these were released by Boom, and I know you've seen the episode probably with me explaining why I love Duck Comics so much. Um, but they also released this companion here and this companion, some like our stories are just kind of scattered throughout the Uncle Scrooge comics. Some are found in volume six, I believe, and then some are found in volume seven, but you are getting the complete library with these Fantagraphics editions in chronological order in the way they were published. Uh, let's look inside of one of these. Oh, I can't wait to read these. I have never read some of these stories. There's your table contents. And there's always an introduction by Don Rosa, where he tells a little bit about himself, where he was during the time that he was making these stories in here. Here's some of that beautiful Don Rosa artwork. Now, Carl Barks is the godfather of. Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck comics. He is the guy that created Uncle Scrooge. But the way I compare Don Rosa to Dar Carl Barks is kind of the way I compare Jeff Johns' Flash to Mark Wade's Flash. Mark Wade invented this whole new mythos for the character, but I think Jeff Johns perfected it. Which is the way that I feel about Don Rosa and Carl Barks. I think Carl Barks did a wonderful thing. I mean, he invented Duckburg. He invented, I mean, he invented just about every character except for Donald. But I think Don Rosa really perfected it. Now, if you only know of Uncle Scrooge through the Disney Christmas Carol or DuckTales, that's okay. I think Don Rosa does an amazing job of just putting all the years of history into just a few pages for you to catch up. Um, 
And then you have familiar characters from the cartoon, like Magic of the Spell, where the, I mean, this is, the comics is where they originated from. Uh, the Beagle Boys, Flint Hard, Goldblum, like all these characters, Gyro, they're all in here. And if that's your gateway to read some of these, either DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, whatever, hey, that's awesome. At least give this a shot. You may actually end up enjoying it. And I don't know if it's because it kind of reminds me of my childhood that that's why I like Uncle Scrooge comic books. So I really didn't really get into reading them until I was well into my high school years. Because I really relate to the character more than any other comic book character out there. I don't know why. The older I get, the more I see a lot of Scrooge in myself. It's kind of weird, right? Because he's a duck and he's greedy and a multi-gajillionaire or whatever version they end up calling him now. Oh, so let's go back to this, sorry. So they have these articles, The Life and Times on Don Rosa, at the end of each book. And kind of tells the story about his life, how he got started writing duck comic books. Just like every other volume, these also have lots of behind the scene things, early sketches, comics that haven't been published in English. Um, a lot of his older comic book stuff before he started doing the duck comics. And just the behind the scenes and what it took to make each issue or how much detail he puts into each comic. And here you have his layouts for the pages and then sometimes he ends up not using those layouts. Where some of the, his ideas came from, how much research he does for each comic book. It's insane. And yeah, about 30 or 40 pages sometimes of just behind the scene things. Mainly lots of artwork and things like that. This is the cover to issue 300. And back here kind of gives you a who's who. So there's detailed information like this in all these books. These are also available, by the way, in individual hardcovers, but I just wait for the box set that includes two of the hardcovers. So technically, yes, I could have read volume seven months ago and then volume eight, but hey, I've been waiting years, 20 years for these books to come out. So I can be a little more patient. Here's some artwork from volume eight. Yeah, these are completely gorgeous. I love the oversized art in Don Rosa's collection. I know they have an artist edition of The Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck that I believe IDW put out. I was kind of wanting that, but I'm not sure if artist edition are my thing. I appreciate the amount of details that he puts into each panel. And it's crazy to think that the guy used to just use a light box and kind of copy a lot of Carl Barks ducks into his own comic book because his art style has just taken off. Look at the detail in that. Now he always hides the word duck in each of the covers that he does and within the books they tell you where you can find them or where you can find them within the issues. So all the covers are collected and not only just the American covers but also the European covers are collected. Some of these stories have never been published in English. So yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful collection. Maybe get one of the trade paperbacks and see if it's your thing. That way you can go a cheaper route. But the hardcovers are the way to go. Sadly, box set number one that holds volumes one and two is out of print and has been out of print for a couple of years. However, there was a tweet released last year from Fanagraphics um, that somebody had copied and they stated that the book would come back in a print so I'm not sure I'm sorry the box set would be back in print I'm not sure when that will is going to be but hopefully soon uh, because I know a lot of collectors that missed out on it really really want to get this so there's a market out there for these books and being that this is the first time that they've been published in English those things are gonna sell out again here are the box sets together and from behind can't believe the journey's almost over. Just volumes 9 and 10. So one more box set. Hopefully it will come out by the end of 2018.
there you have it that's a really quick overview of what the books are like inside of these box sets i'm hoping the fanographics reprints that first volume because i know a lot of collectors want it but don't let it stop you from getting the hardcovers because they are wonderful wonderful books again this was omar thank you for joining me on this wonderful walk down memory lane because like i said uncle scrooge and donald duck by don rosa always brings out the inner child please don't forget to check out our channel we publish an episode every week if this is your first time watching please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw and don't forget to hit the like button thank you and have a great day.